Okay, here I go again. This is the Bedini wheel with the racer rim that I mentioned about. And this is a bifiler core coil spool or whatever you want to call it, bobbin, whatever. And I put some uh, bicycle spokes in there with a couple of uh, sawed off bolts like this. And it filled it in pretty nicely. And there's an old battery here on the top and this is my nice new solar battery on the bottom and it's not charging this thing too well it's kind of beat out and it's kind of it's already uh, damaged on the inside because it's it's swelling here so um, this is my little module I took it off the other Bedini wheel and I, I got a horizontal one here and I got a vertical one I don't know which one I like better. I might keep both of them. But anyway, this is, uh, you can spin it either way. This would drive, if there's enough torque on that, which I doubt, maybe drive some kind of a smaller motor. But I don't really think it will. There is some torque on there. There's 18 magnets. There's 36 spokes. And the bifiler windings. And here's a tri-filer I haven't hooked up yet. Here's three sets of wires here. One, two, three. And I'll be putting that on here maybe later on. Just to work out the Bedini wheel, thanks to John Bedini. And here's how I got the axles mounted. I got a, this is MU metal, Mu metal from a hard drive magnet. And it, it was recessed a little bit, so I just tacked it down. I didn't have to drill any holes in the, wood two by fours here and that works pretty good this is four there are four screws coming up through the bottom on this table here and they hold pretty good and you can see i got an extra magnet up here <laughs> i put in i want to slow it down here the extra magnet is these are all uh zip tied this is an extra magnet here to kind of balance it out because it was kind of off balance so uh, it worked pretty good that way. I balanced it out because there were different size magnets from the uh, magnetrons out of the microwave ovens. They're all different sizes. You can't get them the same. So I always spin it and let it build up speed. One thing I learned though, if you uh, you take like a long piece of steel rod and put it on your center core and put your ear to it like I am you can hear the pulses I hear the pulses through this metal bolt that's one way you can tell that the thing is actually running but you got to spin the wheel and let the magnets pass through the coil and the core and that's all solid steel core I've got this outside solar battery charging on a little solar panel up here all the time, so it never really goes out. There's some red ones up there, and then there's one I built over there for the solar bike, and these are my panels up here. So I really want to build a magnet motor next. No coils, no electric. These are the other coils and modules from my five or five coiler here they're all by filer one and these are some nice uh, soft iron cores to wrap coils if you want they come out of transformers but this is the guy here it's been out in the rain here it's rusting a little bit I got a center washer on it this guy here have magnets on the top here like this like Milo's on online his Milo's and the Hojo well Milo's and Howard Johnson's and I'm gonna have a magnet suspended here and just to see I'm gonna get uh, like eight magnets here eight magnets there and to see if I can get it to uh, centrifugally inertially and uh, <laughs> all that good stuff forces of physics 
to get it to circle itself and continue to rotate on its own. Here's that uh, bicycle, it's the bicycle uh, axle. You can see there's both sides here where I attached a little uh, fan blade onto it and let it spin freely in the wind, but it's spinning backwards now. The wind's coming from this way. So, the other generators out there, that runs a radio and a lamp. And <laughs> it's funny, it kicks in and you hear the radio playing when you get a certain RPM. So that's about it. I'm, uh, here's that Muller motor again. It's, got a bag, uh, one of those jar covers sticking to it. This was actually made to run by itself, but it doesn't do it. So I modified it to light some LEDs. And that's a motor, and you can turn it or spin it with a motor, it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I just want to, let me show myself again, I just want to create something that would be kind of unique here. See, that's that axle again from a, from the bike tire rim, and I used all of the spokes to put inside here. I cut them to fit. This is my biggest coil so far. And that's a bigger one. Let's try farther. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, my videos are a little bit jumpy because I'm holding a little HD cam in my hand. And sometimes and I'm not even aware that I'm bumping it around. So Today is the end of the month. 5.31 Friday, 2013. And it's about 2 or 3 p.m. I want to shut it down on the Bedini wheel with 18 microwave magnets from a magnetron and one bifiler coil.